So hello everyone in this video we will be understanding how we can add mongodb atlas url here as we know that in a real production environment uh, we wouldn't be having this mongodb local local host url but in uh, some cases let's say in light sale which we will be going to use it is generally available but let's say if you want to host it somewhere else in that place uh, there are chances that you might don't have this uh, this localhost mongodb url so instead what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be uh, adding mongodb atlas url here to be safe actually in the production environment so it will not be dependent on a local machine instead it will uh, be uh, dependent on a cloud cloud hosted database so what you have to do is you have to search for mongodb atlas and then you can go to the website and there will be an option of signing in you can do that and you can continue with your google account and it will automatically create your account or else you can sign up as well if you want So I'm already, uh, I've already created an account and uh, set up all the things. You can also do that. Uh, this is my uh, project which I created, Project Zero. Let's create another project to uh, give you an idea like that how you can initialize your project in MongoDB Atlas uh, in a free tier. So here you can specify your name. Let's say I'm specifying uh, to do app. I can click next you can specify other users if you have their uh, email addresses you can specify that I'll be going with my uh, default username or the default email let me just uh, click on create project you can similarly create your own project at the in like at the start it uh, gives you uh, uh, that you can create and then you can create a deployment of the database Now you can select uh, the database that you want to basically have. We have different types of uh, databases, clusters. Basically, these will be uh, the machines which will be provided to us uh, by MongoDB in which we'll be hosting our database alone. For learning, I'll be using this free tier which is M0. And you can select your provider, whether it be AWS or Google Cloud. It depends on like how close the network is towards your and then you can select that I I believe you can leave everything as default and you can click on create and then you will be having two options one is uh, username and uh, the other one is the certificate option I will be going with the username and password field you can specify uh, your username what you will be using uh, in the MongoDB uh, URI so I can specify my username as this and the password you can auto generate this secure password as well so this one will be my secure password so this is basically a combination of different letters and uh, numbers and then you can click on create user one more thing you have to copy your password as well otherwise uh, we might get confused right so I can auto generate again and copy this password somewhere so I can reuse it later so I'll be copying it here and then I can update password after that uh, I'll be connecting my local environment whether it be a cloud environment as well here what you can specify is your IP address of your machine in which you will be hosting in my case it will be this machine it's AWS light sale so you can uh, choose your provider and uh, like select your provider and you will be getting a static IP in uh, Amazon light sale you can uh, add a static IP to your light sale machine and then you can uh, paste that as well if you uh, want to allow uh, from everywhere like from your local machine as well as from your like other 
hosted machine as well so you can specify that entry as well for now let's for let's say i'll be adding a simple this is a very uh, important thing you don't have to add it uh, he, the, uh, this way because that's a very sec uh, very secure thing so you have to secure your uh, mongodb cluster this allows every uh, machine to make request to your current uh, like to your machine to your databases so i'll be adding this one for now so this one will be my uh, like entry for all the machine that can make request but in my case i should add this one this ip address or whatever the ip address uh, the domain uh, like or the dns will provide you you can specify that as well so that is one thing but if you want to try just you can add this one and it will allow you to make request from every machine after that what you can do is you can finish and close it you can go to overview now you can see we have a connect option we can click on connect you can see from where you want to connect from uh, which place basically so i'll be going with drivers because i want to use uh, drivers not in not just and it is also suggesting how we can basically connect we don't need everything but just we need this url which is this one and then we can close it and i can go to my machine and i can paste this code right here and then i can specify the password here which was this one you can similarly do that i'm showing you this password because i wanted to tell you like how you can basically add mongodb server url now if i just uh, run it i should have my database running you can see it is saying db connected successfully now if i go to uh, my database deployment inside that you will see my database is available if i click on this browse collection i should be able to see my to do's which is empty because uh, we have connected to the new database and we haven't created any uh, to do list now so this will be uh, our default thing and now what we can do is we are ready to ship this uh, thing to the production server i'll be using aws in uh, this uh, tutorial because aws is a very great platform if you want to host uh, your uh, full stack applications and this will be our choice for this lecture or for this course basically we can decide that we have already created other light sail related uh, tutorials you can watch them if you want to learn about light sail more and yeah that's it so let's meet in the next video in which we'll be uh, deploying our code to our more stack instance which we uh, had i have also other instances like you can select other instances for django applications or like for more stack or mean stack you can choose any uh, uh, like instance you want and this instance is nothing but a single machine in which you can host multiple app uh, websites right so this will be our choice let's meet in the next video that how we can basically deploy our application in a light sail instance